In this video you will learn the IP arthrotesis on the big toe with shark screwdriver, an allograft screw made of 100% human cortical bone. Shark screw is easily seen intraoperatively as well as on the postoperative x-rays. Shark screw is incorporated into the natural bone remodeling process and is successively completely incorporated and remodeled into patient's own bone. Access is via a Y-shaped skin incision over the IP joint. The angle of the two distal legs should be as large as possible to minimize the risk of postoperative wound healing disorders. The extensor tendon is cut close to the attachment at the distal phalanx. However, the distal tendon stump should be chosen long enough to allow end-to-end -end suturing of the tendon. The two collateral ligaments are then cut. The exophytes are removed under maximum plantar flexion. The base of the distal phalanx and the trochlea are then resected sparingly with the oscillating saw until the former joint surfaces can be placed flat on top of each other. Care must be taken to carefully remove any remaining cartilage after resection. The subchondral sclerotic bone is then microfractured with a 1.0 mm to 1.5 mm thin drill. Then a double-pointed 1.6 mm K wire is inserted retrograde into the center of the distal phalanx until it exits through the dome of the big toe just below the toenail. Now the 1.6 mm K wire is reclamped in the drill, which now guides the 1.6 mm K wire from distal. In the optimal position, transfixation of the IP joint is performed with the 1.6 mm K wire, which is inserted through the trochlea deep into the shaft of the proximal phalanx. In addition, temporary fixation of the IP joint is performed with two 1.2 mm K wires. These K wires hold the position of the IP joint stable during drilling and tapping. The drill channel can thus no longer slip until the shark screw is inserted. Once the IP joint is stabilized, a skin incision is made at the tip of the toe with the scalpel. The 1.6 mm K wire is exchanged for a 1.2 mm guide wire. Drilling tapping is then performed over this 1.2 mm guide wire for shark screw. The re-aiming should be done gradually. For the IP arthrotesis, a shark screw diver with a diameter of 5.0 mm and a length of 35 mm or 45 mm is required. After thread cutting, the thread is carefully rinsed, but be careful. Check with the help of an intraoperative X-ray whether the thread depth is sufficient to subsequently place shark screw diver about 15 millimeters deeper over the osteotomy gap. The depth to which the shark screw diver is to be inserted can be read off from the laser marking on the tap. The shark screw diver is placed on the special screwdriver before screwing in. Consider how deep you need to screw in shark screwdriver. In this case, shark screwdriver must be countersunk 40 millimeters from the skin entry point. This means that the screwdriver is marked at the point where insertion must be stopped as soon as it reaches the skin level during insertion. Countersink shark screwdriver below the bone surface with intraoperative X-ray control very quickly so that shark screw diver bridges the arthrotesis gap proximally and distally in approximately equal length. Postoperative care is in a bandage shoe for four weeks, two weeks without weight bearing, and two weeks with full weight bearing, depending on bone quality. 